Okay, everyone, so we just beat Liu Bei on Expert. Let's uh just wrap it up with some Cao Cao Expert, see how we feel about it. I'm a little worried about the beginning stage in particular being way overtuned. And that'll judge my enjoyment of the playthrough. There's a couple of early battles that I'm really worried about in Cao Cao's stuff, but I don't really think I'm going to care about the later stages. It's kind of like Leo Bay. If I can get through the first four stages or five stages, I'm fine. Just uh, Chibi could be very interesting on Expert. The chase scenario is going to be very interesting. And funny enough, the first stage we're going to do here might be one of the hardest battles we have to do. So, wish me luck, I guess. Jump into the game. Let's do a new battle. Of the dramatic reveal of the characters. So we beat Leo Bay on beginner and expert. We'll probably do normal at some point. I don't think it'll be back-to-back -back playthroughs if we do do it. So we beat Cao Cao on normal. His campaign was fine. I don't think they're... Outside of the battles that I just mentioned, I don't think we had too many trouble points. But let's see how everything feels on Expert. In this world, for some, gentleness is forbidden. And despite their kind and gentle hearts, they are forever destined to move through life clad in an armor of ice. Dear <laughs> Chen, go to New Bay and tell him to make a world where a person like me cannot be born. <laughs> Farewell, Dao Chen. grow up to be strong and protect those you love. Okay. Will you be alright all by yourself? There's bad men out there. I'll be alright. I'll come back as soon as I find us something to eat. Mommy! Mommy! And from that moment on, the boy was left to grow up all alone. My army brought the rebels under control just north of the capital. In no time, this land too will soon be conquered. I must compliment you, my lord. You command masterfully. Enemy troops! They're surrendering, sir. What should we do? I ask of you now, can we end these senseless killings? Even if I have betrayed the people, I will never allow them to betray me! But, sir... The Lord says he refuses to let them surrender! That man, and my love, Liu Bei, came face to face on the battlefield. Lord Liu Bei, at your service. Now attack! You saved us. You have my gratitude. That evening, Liu Bei held a banquet for Cao Cao. On a whim, it was decided that a medium from across the sea would be asked to read the future. On her command, I saw not only Liu Bei's oracle, but Cao Cao's as well. It was clear that the oracle of Liu Bei read, Heaven is beyond grasp. The woman of destiny brings ruin. And Cao Cao's read, The mandate of heaven is with you. 
The woman of destiny will change your fate. There is no other way. The priestess was Himiko. She somehow divined that I knew the location of the Imperial Seal. The seal. The sign of the one upon whom the Mandate of Heaven has been bestowed. The sign given only to the one who rules under Heaven. Several months later, uniting with Himiko, Cao Cao caught Liu Bei to the capital and attacked him. He kidnapped me so that he could make the Imperial Seal his own. This was the beginning of it all. Maybe now is the time to tell the story. The story of the secret buried in the darkness of history. The untold story of the long and drawn out war between two arch rivals, Liu Bei and Cao Cao. I would just like to state, oh, I just realized oh, I made a small mistake. I, I don't have the right thing up again. Bad. There we go. I just realized, like, she just said the Battle of the Two Warlords. It's it's called the War of the Three Kingdoms, Yao Chan. This is being rude. The Xing Quan. Cao Cao imprisons the exiled emperor. He establishes his stronghold, Zhu Chang, as the new capital and eliminates all who oppose him. Hoping to obtain the Imperial Seal, the sign of the Mandate of Heaven, Cao Cao kidnaps Diao Chan, who knows its secret location. Let the meeting begin. Everyone lay out your ideas. Sire, I have found someone, a brilliant warlord, Guo Jia. He is looking for a command. Why don't we invite him to join our army? Let's shake up Liu Bei's troops. Tell them that those who follow Liu Bei will never come home alive. <laughs> I can just see Liu Bei's soldiers trembling with fear. I relish the thought. Oh, this will be so much fun. For us to win this war, we must first be prepared militarily. Let us recruit the soldiers. Sire, what do you wish us to do? Hmm. I mean, we're gonna enlist. So, I mean, allegedly we have a, we have, remember this chat, allegedly we have about a two or three to one advantage in some scenarios. Or like two and a half to three ratio better than them. But as we're about to see, this is expert mode. I've made up my mind. We will be victorious. An expert mode is all about gathering your favorite group of abilities. So let's give Guajia. I have great confidence in my strategic skills, something that comes very easy to me. Give me the chance to prove how useful I can truly be. I remember him being decently good with magic. Or am I? Th no, no, no. I don't think this is the character I'm thinking of. I still think he's decent. I I'm thinking of the evil cackling guy. We're not an evil cackling guy yet. <laughs> He was my favorite magician on the side. Escaping Cao Cao's clutches, Liu Bei gathers his troops in Zhu and prepares to rescue Diao Chan. To stabilize his position, Cao Cao leads his troops directly toward Liu Bei so that he can conquer his stronghold in Zhu. Diao Chen, tell me, where is the Imperial Seal? I warn you again. Tell me or Liu Bei will die. Liu Bei will not be defeated. Then promise me. If I defeat him, you'll tell me where the seal is. Here is the Imperial Seal. Seek out a worthy hero to give it to. Take it. Your Majesty, promise me. 
Thank you, Dalchai. Um. <laughs> I hope it didn't happen exactly how the cutscene showed it. <laughs> you bay. I will wring your neck. Darn those spontaneously combusting children. Say, Cao Cao, Liu Bei is one of the greatest heroes of all. Please, I don't understand why he has to die. Such talk is disloyal and dangerous even from my uncle. Leave me. Pardon me? I said leave me! When the subject concerns Liu Bei, my lord gets very upset. Shut up. Everyone listen up now, I have something to say! Heaven hates Liu Bei, it gave him enemies like Cao Cao and me. There you go, chat. <laughs> Commence the war council. Report on your situation. Our scouts have just reported that the enemy is currently holding at this position. Okay, so here's the problem, chat. We know experts potentially going to add additional generals. This fight was actually kind of annoying even on normal mode. So we last time, as a reminder for the chat, our storehouse is in the northeast. All of our troops start in the northeast. And we block the bridges. Now, we know, so spo I guess spoilers for people that are watching this on Expert first and not the other difficulties. Um, we know one of the characters that is a prime blocker for the left side enemy generals is going to leave us within the next two battles. So we really don't want to give him experience if we can avoid it. So let's pay attention to where our troops are and decide from there when we see the other strategies. We must force the enemy's general Liu Bei and how, all his men to flee. How we're going to maneuver ourselves. If my lord has to flee, then we will surely be defeated. State your strategies. If I may offer this humble suggestion. The enemy is an undisciplined mob. If the revered commanders Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are taken out, morale will collapse and the remaining officers will lose control over the men. My lord. Please let me share my strategy. I suggest that we entice the enemy to target our storehouse. It will appear to be left unprotected, but our troops will lie in wait to ambush the attackers. Jia Hao Yuan here will mount a strong defense. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? Okay, so let's review the strategies again. So, do we try to have a last man standing with Cao Cao and try to take advantage of the potentially 1v3? Well, see, the thing is, like, this is, yeah, this is kind of like, I don't know. Like, the ambushes here are okay. This is such a tough call. We did this one last time. We could go for this one again. So here's here's what we did to modify the strategy. We did not leave to see how you want on the other side of the bridge. We let him cross over, so he got a, his abilities back quicker because the storehouse is in the corner. As long as we're near the storehouse, our abilities recharge quickly. I think we need at least two generals to stop Mei and Liu Bei. We know Mei is going to hit us really hard. Sal Ren has Iron Wall, so presumably he would be the character that initiates the fight, and Yujin would be a support character. Um, Yujin might also have the archer unit, so after he ambushes, we might retreat him just to get the advantage of the archers. Cao Cao is fairly good and could potentially tank some blows, so we could potentially make Zia Hao Yuan retreat slightly after Cao Ren starts his first battle, but we'll see. I, I guess we could go for the strategy again. I'm not sure what they're going to do differently here. Like, they have to do something, so I, I'm not really sure what to expect here. So let, let's start with this one and see how it goes. Let's use this strategy to battle. Yes, yes sir.
So let's figure out what we're gonna do. So let's take a look at what Xiao Xiao has. As expected, he's got no archers. Yujin might have the archer unit. Hey, dude. Nice, nice, nice. Xiao Ren has Huzi. Huzi's pretty good. She has Rush, from what I remember. Yeah. So, also, chat, our troop numbers are garbage. Can we talk about this? I'm only at 6,900 with Zia you Yuan. Interestingly, his experience is not that max, but he has all of his abilities. There we go. Here, here's my favorite character. Oh, I didn't realize he had an archer unit. Oh, that is very interesting. I forgot he had that. Um, okay, well, if we could get see how you want to potentially go up here, I think things will be kind of fun. For the first couple of battles, we just need to see how you want to block. Then he can retreat upwards and Sao Sao can attack. And that means see how you want can interfere, not steal the experience, and demoralize the enemy. I think this is the way to go. I wasn't sure who had the archers in the first battle. This, this is kind of an unusual setup. So we... We just have to wait. There's really not much we can do. chat riveting. It's just a waiting game. Okay, so I think they just engaged in battle if I was looking at that correctly. Yes. So, Guan Yu we know definitely does not have a hail. Who is better at magic? Hold on. Let's check. I think it's Cheng Yu, if I remember correctly, has stronger magic. Let's take a look again. They're actually pretty close. Yeah, getting Meteor Shower up is just so godlike. I think we gotta go for it if it lets us. I don't think it does though, right? Oh, it kinda does. Oh, we just can't do it on the bridge. Oh, that's why we didn't level them when we first played. I forgot that was a mechanic. Honestly, it's a pretty dumb mechanic. I, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it. That's fine. Just battle cry them real quick. Don't mind me. Do you not know how you are? Get away! So we're gonna battle cry potentially into a duel here. We hit basically their entire army with that battle cry, so that should be absolutely brutal. And we if we have rally, we're gonna rally. Listen, man. Whatever the cost, attack! We're almost ready to duel him. Let's, uh... Charge a little bit here. Alright, so we should just win this now. If I die, it will be in a glorious duel. Show what you're made of! Well, then I can only hope that you're not too attached to that head of yours. It's quite a death sound. Okay then, but I'm not done for yet. So we just destroyed his morale. We basically became tanky, reduced his defense, and now we confused him. Did you expect me to really lose to the likes of you? So that is like a game-ending amount of damage there. So we're gonna chip him away as much as we can, and then try to let Sao Sao clean up. That's our goal here. 
We want to feed Sal Sal the experience. But while we're able to, we'll tank some hits. Enemy reinforcements have arrived from where? See, this is where I wasn't sure what was going to happen. It's already re evened up our troop numbers. Oh, he rally countered. What a jerk. I'll show you the strength of my army. So the question is, is how many people is he going to get? So there's probably Zhao Yun, Mei, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu. Is there anybody else? Will, will the Zhuge, or is it not Zhuge, will the Zhang Fei sister show up? I guess daughters, technically, with how I said it. You're pretty good. I just love her. You're pretty good. I don't know why she does that. It's so funny to me. Now it's good. Attack! You're pretty good. You're pretty good, chat. Okay, I don't want to engage with battle with Yujin if we can avoid it, but we'll see what happens. And I guess this doesn't super matter. I'm just going to choose to charge repeatedly while we have the confusion. We found Leo Bay. Getting a full clear might be a problem here if he's here without losing our storehouse. That was the other thing that I was worried about with the strategy of just winning too quickly on the bottom and then not being able to do anything. Because I don't know how many enemy units are going to fight us. Do you know what I mean, chat? But it's like, at the same time, I can't really afford to stall that much. So, I, I, maybe, I made the mis maybe I made a mistake for the way I wanted to clear. Like, this will work. I will kill Leo Bay. The problem is, is I don't want to kill Leo Bay. Yet, I also want to get experience on other characters. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. I need to think about it a bit more, Chad. I think we basically stalemated here. Alright, I did say I was gonna retreat him, so let's retreat him. See how that goes. So we, we did take up the brunt of Guan Yu's forces. We lowered his morale, makes Cao Cao's fight a little easier. Now we're going to run around with Eugen. He should have the arrow unit. I could have battle cried potentially before leaving combat. That's a small mistake from my side. Now this is Zhao Yun, so Zhao Yun's on this side. So if I had let them come over here, it would have been a 3v3. I don't know, Chad. Is it is it possible to get every general kill on expert? On normal it was. Because we didn't have to worry about the, the troop size differences. But I can always use another ally. I am grateful, Zhao Yun. Let's go ahead and do this. See how Yuan's gonna pull backwards. One ping. He wasn't there before. Man, we have to kill so many generals on the left side. I don't know, chat. What what do you think about this? This is now a one, two, three, four, five, six, six v four. Is this even doable to get a full kill? Like, honest question, is that is this even doable to get every kill without accidentally killing Leo Bay? I don't know, chat. That seems really difficult, to be honest with you. Right, so we want Cao Cao to block. We need to move him here. And we will move, see how you want it up if we need to. We did get one of his abilities back, which is good. And as needed, we could just arrow away here. Because the problem is, like, if Leo Bay was just hanging back, I don't think this would be a problem, like, at all. But the problem is, he is, he is charging. 
I kind of wish you didn't do. All right, so we're gonna hopefully pelt with arrows here. Let's see how we do. Let's observe. Do we shoot any arrows? I mean, it looks like we should be. You know what? I'm gonna move slightly further just in case. So we should be looking at them no matter what here. Kalbu should have Rally, which I don't need. Sal Sal, do you have Battle Cry? I think you do, right? You do. Ooh, if we go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Green. I'm gonna need. <laughs> I was gonna aim at red. I'm just so used to it. No, this is fine. You. You're going to fight me? So we have Rally and Battle Cry. That makes Sal Sal basically invincible, except to special abilities. Uh, is there anything I want to do to demoralize them a little bit? I can't use it on the bridge, because that would be useful. I don't think there's anything I can really do here. Unfortunate. Unless we just charge repeatedly. I think he's going to get Rally back, which is a problem. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm looking at this, and I, I don't know if it's possible to get every kill. Like, I can't even think of a way that would be doable. Because then we... I mean, I guess I could see both ways of doing it and see how it goes. At least I don't think it's doable with the strategy. I'll put it that way. Like, maybe we could win the 4v3 on the left side and stall with Sao Sao. Maybe that's doable. So we'll... We'll at minimum complete this and see the other strategy. Normally, I don't do both strategies to clear. But I think in this scenario, I do want to know if there's a way to get more kills. So if it doesn't go well, it's just a little experiment for us. If it goes well, then we just choose that file instead. But I, I'd rather know. I think Wan Yu's losing morale pretty rapidly. So unfortunately, Leo Bay is about to die here. So yeah, I think this one is just too quick for us. We're just too efficient, unfortunately. Yeah, so I think I think we'll definitely see what the other strategy is like. I'll, I'll keep how we have it here. It's like, we're definitely going to kill Guan Yu. We're definitely going to win against Mei. In fact, I didn't even use Rush at all on uh, Uzi. Should just win. Oh, the stall with the rally. Boo! I'll show you the strength of my army. Okay. So, wow, he really fixed his morale. That's crazy. Rally, rally is dumb on enemy troops. Chat. Can we talk about this? I still haven't killed Guan Yu. Wait, how would I even be able to kill him? Wow, this is gonna be monstrous. I'm just thinking about it. Like, look at how much morale we have and we're still not able to put a dent in his troops. That's crazy. Huh. Have you learned? Not yet then, I see. I'm not ready to die. Not right here. So it's you! I will stand and cut you down! Right, we're gonna get another battle cry, which will make things a bit easier. So yeah, I definitely want to see what the other strategy is like. Like, we'll still win. Let's just be very clear. We're going to beat the stage. I just want to beat it more convincingly. So we'll we'll save our attempt. And then we'll we'll try the other one. So I, I do want to see it to its conclusion though. See, this is what I was worried about. Like this kind of battle, trying to get like a full enemy clear. Like, look at that. Like we're almost dead with Sao Sao. And we had like 2k more troops than him. Like, that's crazy. So this might be the only way we could go forward. 
That's why I definitely don't want to cancel it. Unfortunately, due to it being a bridge battle, we can't use spells. I mean, I could retreat further, I guess. That has risks to it. I'm just charging repeatedly to end the fight. Okay, Leo Bay is almost over, right? Paying attention to Leo Bay at the bottom. Are you fully crossed over? Yes, no. I think you are. Just want to make sure he's not able to go to the storehouse. Don't be a bridge battle. Good. Uhuzi should just mow down Leo Bay, and then we have support fire from the other enemies. Or other allies, I mean. This should be absolutely nasty. I think Chad could agree. Oh, oh, that hit the entire squad. Oh, Straggler, Straggler OP. Oh, Straggler whiffed. Boo. Oh, no, those didn't, though. Okay, that's good. We're good. So, anyway, I think we can agree we just dumped on Leo Bay. He is Rally, Iron Wall, and I don't know what his other ability at that level is. I don't think it's Battle Cry. It could be, I, think it's, I mean, it could be Raid. Anyway, we're good. But you can see, like, we're barely winning with, like, 2v1s. Like, that's crazy. The Sao Sao about to die. Like, legitimately, Sao Sao's down at, like, less than 3k. So, is it even possible to do the other one? I imagine you would have to spam a million spells. But this is crazy we haven't killed Guan Yu still. I think Chad would agree. Like, he's going down to, like, 600 troops, still fighting. That rally is so unfair. He would have died a long time ago without it. And unfortunately, we just don't recharge Battle Cry fast enough at the moment. Wow, they initiated a rally for Leo Bay. So Leo Bay stalling like a pro. I'm not even hurting Guan Yu when I charge anymore. I can't tell if I'm actually interfering with arrows. If I'm not, this would explain a lot. Yeah, I think because I'm not interfering with arrows. That sucks. Rich battles suck, chat. That's all you need to know. The AI has no idea what to do. They're just like circling in the bottom left repeatedly. So, not much I could do here. So I was hoping we could interfere in the bridge battle, but it, either I did something wrong positionally, or it's just not possible. Um, yeah, his morale is tanking pretty quickly, thanks to the arrows. Although he seems to be gaining morale randomly. We'll take a look at Leo Bay. Liu Bei almost dead. Sao Sao kind of in trouble. I just retreat him here and see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, so mostly going as expected. Waiting for Sao Sao to pull back slightly, if he's even able to. Because that's the thing too, there's not a lot of maneuver room. So like, now that I'm here, is it even possible to swap with Sao Sao and see how you want? I don't know. I don't feel like it is. Yeah, I think he got stuck. Oh, I would have to move maybe like this. And then move upwards like this. Maybe this is possible. I'm just curious. So see how Yuan is getting his abilities back, so he should be able to just duel people from existence as needed. Now let's see how Yuan move out of the way. Yeah, this battle seems pretty difficult to get a lot of kills on, and also not just lose to either Leo Bay taking the storehouse because you can't block it, or just killing him too soon. Uh, so we're doing a little switcheroo here. I think this will work. They have to be very, very specific and precise with their movements, but I think that's okay. Now we just need him to intercept this, and then we're fine. Sao Sao is about as far out of the way as I can go. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can really move differently. I'm assuming see how you want to get through this. Is he able to? Yeah, he is, good. Whether the enemy crosses the bridge or not, it doesn't really matter at this point. So even, if, even if it forces them to reset, I don't really care. Yeah, this is fine. So, see how Yuan got all of his abilities back, which is kind of sick. Leo Bay is almost dead. I think at this point we just battle cry them. Do you not know here how you are? Get away! See how Yuan really good at demoralizing the enemy. I don't remember if Guan Ping's accepts duels or not, but we'll go for it just because. If I die, it will be in a glorious duel. Show what you're made of. You think you're a match for me, do you? I do, Guan Ping. That's why I challenge you to a duel. too much really to say. I mean, we're just kind of cleaning up, waiting for uh, Leo Bay to die at this point. But I guess I could do some charge abilities, because why not? Charge and lay down, I mean, how effective do I think Sal Sal is at holding the South Bridge against May? May seems really strong. Like, if... I don't know. She also has an Iron Wall, so the advantage of having two magicians with... Sao Sao is not as good as it should be. I mean, I guess I can race Leo Bay's death by charging repeatedly with Zi Hao Yuan. I mean, Guan Ping is easy. He's just like an extra assistant from expert mode. I'm not worried about dueling him. It's more like, can we deal with Zhang Fei and Guan Yu with the other characters? I want to know. Yeah, see, they're counter rallying. That's fine. The problem is just, like, it seems like we just die so quickly with Sao Sao's unit, unless it's just Guan Yu's war ability is so high. If, if that's the case and it's more even against Mei, maybe it won't be too bad. But if he loses as many troops as he did against Mei, against Mei the way he lost against Guan Yu, then that's a problem. I don't even think the other strategy is viable. But we'll see. We'll see together in expert mode how that feels. Um, anything else I could do to speed this up? It's like a random raid. It's not really much to hit. We've killed basically all of their people. I'm hitting more of my own than theirs. But we're just looking to confuse them. And to be fair, striking your own units and just mowing through everybody, I think that would confuse everybody. That, that checks out. If you want to face me, be willing to die! So 
so it's a race to see who dies first. Wanping somehow still has morale despite being outnumbered in an over 10 to 1 situation. Honestly, completely ridiculous he has an auto folded. Look at that chat. 390 to our 5k. Like, come on. You know, I, I've heard of the, you know, certain AI getting an advantage on you, but this is just ridiculous. How is he not dead? There we go. I think we are now appropriately racing Leo Bay. Ridiculous. So even though Xiao Yuan's getting experience, it's okay because Cheng Yu and Guajia are also getting experience. This is fine. Level up our mages a bit more. How are we doing with Leo Bay? How close are we? We're down to 1k. Wow, he did up he did like fourth Wow. That did way more than I thought. Well anyway, time to end the fight. Uh we're gonna say goodbye. This should just end the fight instantly, by the way. Ooh, we missed a little bit. Maybe you won't. I thought I was gonna never mind. I slightly misaimed. But I mean it's yeah, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. So, you know, we won. The enemy general has been defeated. We won. But I'm curious how hard the other strategy is. Is Don't that other we're done yet? Oh, I, I forgot they had a cutscene there. Back. Cow -cow, I will not forgive you for this. I will have your head. Just wait. Brother, this way. Taste the strength of my army. Victory! I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. But not many troops. Supplies barely went up. Military skills went up in OKML. Okay, so we did upgrade our archers My a bit. Lord, this is Levion and UEG, sent to rid us of bandits some time ago. They've lost all their warriors and are now returning in shame to beg your pardon. The two of us were overpowered and taken prisoner. But somehow, we managed to escape. <laughs> the dialogue. Lord, we will gladly go to the front lines in the next battle. So not my most favorite win, but it is a win. So we're going to save over this one, where we played a South South last time. And what we're going to do, we're going to see how hard that other strategy is. So we'll, we'll take that as a win. We know there's going to be one other battle we will not get full kills on, and that is the uh, chase mission. But I, I think we could do a little better. I, I don't think there's much I can do to ch fix that strategy to get more kills. Like, honestly... I kind of risk losing to Leo Bay messing around on the right side, so kind of don't want to do that. Let, let's try this one one more time. Do a little reset action here. I mean, I'm happy we won and all, don't get me wrong. I was hoping Sao Sao would be able to take more kills, but at least we gave him some experience. It's just kind of like an- oh, that's right, I have to choose start new game if I want to see it. Oh, that is so slow and I can't speed up that animation. It really dramatically wants to introduce the characters. Yes. So we'll skip the cutscenes this time since we just we, we just watched them. We're gonna go with this strategy, then we're just gonna mash, that's fine. So maybe with the raw number of magicians yeah, we have, sure. maybe it's doable. I I'm just thinking, like, we, we can't fight a bridge battle or we will straight up lose. We can let them cross the bridge but not make any progress, which would let us get closer to the storehouse, I think. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not worried about Guan Ping at all. He, d he only has Rally, which is very annoying, don't get me wrong, but his war ability I think is not all that high either. So let's see where it started us. Um, 
I might just let her fully cross. I think we have to let her fully cross. No, I'm gonna come this way a little bit. Let our other army units move forward. The other thing of concern is if we move too far forward, they could actually get around us, so I'm actually going to tell them to hold still. So we know we have an archer unit in Zihao Yuan and Yu Jin, so it might still be worth spreading them out a little bit and leaving Kao Ren back a little bit. We'll see how it goes. We need to make sure Sao Sao is facing this way so I can see the enemy. Alright, so we're just looking for the enemy units. Can we see them when we scan ahead? Found Guan Yu. Okay. So what we could do... We could challenge Guan Yu. We can have Yu Jin pelt with arrows. And we'll leave Sao Ren hanging back just a little bit for now. I think this makes the most sense. We try to get the duel in early with Guan Yu, and then we could just steal experience and give it to other people. So Yu Jin, do some damage. Oh, there's Zhang Fei. That's not great. Why? I don't think we're going to intercept in time. That is really unfortunate. So we're going to leave Yu Jin here, I think. Sal Ran, I need you to back up slightly. Please intercept. Please don't let him fight Sal Ran. I'm going to fight Sal Ran. That is quite annoying, actually. Um, retreat southwards. Eugen is fine where they are. Just need to make sure to see how Duan is there. Move Sal Ren slightly too far forward. Okay, Sal Sal, are you looking to the right? You are looking to the right. Okay. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I need to make sure that they can cross the bridge. We're going to angle it so we get a little bit of a heads up. See how Yuan will fight Guan Yu. We have a lot of spellcasters here. This should be pretty one-sided. And Yu Jin will pelt with arrows. So what we need to do is we need to stall. So Sal Ren needs to come over here, potentially, to deal with Zhang Fei. In the meantime, Yu Jin will soften up the enemy. If Yu, can, if Yu Jin gets engaged in battle, we have Sal Ren to deal with it. If they just dummy pile into the line, I don't do anything here, and this is fine. So now that we're close, let's rally. We need to make sure we take as little damage as possible. Listen, man. Whatever the cost, attack! We know Zhao Yun won't be here right away, and Guan Ping is also delayed. So we have a little bit of time where we have the number advantage. So if we could get some arrows from Yu Jin here, this would be huge for demoralizing Guan Yu. We're gonna try to battle cry. Um, this is kind of awkward. Are they moving in still? They are moving a little bit. Let's do this. Do you not know here how you are? Get away! Yeah, that hit a good number of troops. I think we're almost in dual territory. I think that's basically dual territory. Yeah, we have a pretty significant morale advantage. Let's duel. And then we're gonna hit them with spells when they're at their weakest. If so I before die, we charge them, Show what you're made of. we fixed our morale, lowered theirs. We should win this. Well, then I can only hope that you're not too attached on that head of yours. I got scared for a moment. I actually thought I was Guan Yu. <laughs> it's like I was so used to Leo base campaign. Okay then, but I'm not done for yet. Did you expect me to really lose to the likes of you? Okay, 
so now they're confused. Let's go in for the killing blow. Uh, oops. I keep hitting the wrong character. That's not good. Gotta be careful here. Um, darn, they are kind of spread out. What I was hoping for. So Guan Yu's demoralized. Let's bring in Cheng Yu then. Oh, he counter rallied. Come on. At least I should be moving forward during this. This is fine. I'll show you the strength of my army. So right now, they are about to engage my other character, which is fine. I can see Mei very slowly creeping into view. But we need to let her get across the bridge first. Let's see how much damage we can do with this. So again, this is something we couldn't do before. We now have Meteor Shower. There we go, there's this little, little laughter. Oh, he's got level 2 already. Interesting. Nice. I guess that makes sense. He's pretty good. I would have repositioned slightly. I just forgot. It's just still hitting an okay amount of people. Like, there were some at the outskirts. It's not like it was a complete whiff. Yeah, see, that hit a couple at the end. Not enough, not enough to level magic, but that does demoralize them. Okay, Yujin is now being attacked. That's exactly what I don't want to have happen. And what we're going to do, we're going to tell Sal Ren to come in. We're going to tell Yujin... I got to be careful about Mei on the side. We're going to tell Yujin to maybe battle cry him and then run. I think it's a battle cry and run kind of scenario. This is just, just free demoralization. Oh, you're not the right person. You're looking, who am I looking for? I'm looking for you, and you're not in battle. Oh, that sucks. Um, I mean, I guess nothing stops me from using Rush here, potentially. No, 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 before we rush, we should demoralize. Okay, so now Guanping is here, so I gotta be careful. Dalren is unfortunately just not in the right spot for me. Looking at Mei, I'm getting a little concerned, because I do have to swap control to block at the right time. She has to be able to cross, but not actually be able to move. Okay, so this should be huge for us. If I could just move a little further forward... And I'm gonna have to block May, I think. Yeah, that's a lot of people we're about to hit with this. So we used her ability that we didn't use in the previous fight. It's pretty effective. It'll make everything else much easier. Then I think what we do with her. Why is she so far away from combat? Uh I think I need to switch I need to switch Lube. Please attack. Okay. If she went any further forward, I think we just lose. No, he didn't block her. No, he's too slow. No. Oh, wait, no, we might still be fine. Oh, oh. come on. He was right there. That's so un. That is. So Chat. The one time the game does not magnet hands, the one time it doesn't magnet fight, it's when I'm trying to stop him from taking the storehouse. Please tell me they don't destroy the storehouse. If they destroy it, I'm resetting. Like, this is just ridiculous. Okay, we're in a battle with them. I think we prevented it, which is good. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to leave combat with Yujin. I didn't get to charge with Yujin, which is unfortunate. We're gonna walk backwards. Okay, we didn't lose the storehouse. That's what I was worried about. See how you want? I need you to... I don't know. Yujin got hit by a raid. Well, I'm retreating them anyway, so that should be fine. I think we just hit with Hail to demoralize them. And then we have to see what Cao Cao's up to. So I didn't get to use the Archer strategy for very long, but I think it was working. I think we did get like about 10 or 15 seconds solid of him losing morale, which is better than nothing. And we're gonna get one more opportunity to do it, I think, soon. But again, we're forcing him to be confused and lose morale, so that should be fine. So we just need Yujin to back up slightly, and then we're good. Make sure you leave combat. I don't think there's anything else we should really do. Actually, if they're confused, I should mash buttons here so I don't lose more troops. That I should actually do if I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. 
I think I unconfused myself. No, I'm still confused. Okay. Again, we're trying to reduce how many people we lose here, which is going to be difficult. Just really wish that you'd retreat. Advance to the rear. Wait, they have... Wait, is that Leo Bay coming on the left side? Wait, what? Oh, come on, chat, come on. Leo Bay does something different in this strategy? Are you serious? Chat, wow. Chat, wow. I don't think this is winnable now. I thought he was going to go to the right side. That was the whole point of the strategy. Oh. Huh. Wow, this sucks. I think we can all agree. Oh, she doesn't have Iron Wall. She's not leveled enough. Well, that's useful. Huh. That sucks. I might just restart because I kind of just thought he would do the same thing. And he didn't do that. That means if I if I am fast enough, I can punish this. Can we confuse them? I should have battle cried first, but that's okay. You fool. You're going to fight me? I mean, Sao Sao can still hold off. Le I guess it depends. If Leo Bay just tries to go for the base, but on the other side, this is okay. If he goes for our allies, I have to reset. Like, there's no way I win it at this point when that happens. There's just too much of a disadvantage. Uh, we'll Meteor Shower. Like, see how Yuan will beat Guan Yu, but it takes time, and I don't think I have time if Leo Bei comes up there, because it'll be a 2v1 versus Yu Jin. We can't hold their own currently. Sal Ren can do okay against, like, a Guan Ping, but he's just going to lose a lot of troops in the process. On splash damage rocks. There we go. Nice splash damage rock at the end. So yeah, we could crush her numbers and her morale pretty easily here. <gasps> he's engaging. That's a problem. Unless he's just going by me. If he's just going by me, this is fine, because then I can kill Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei is about to get overrun by Sal Ren. So again, it just all depends on what he does in the next few seconds. If he attacks Yu Jin, it's over. So I just don't kill fast enough for this to work. Uh, wow, they have so many troops, but they're like all over the place. And... Why did you attack Leo Bei? That's unfortunate. It's gonna be so many troops. Just need to move a little more, I think. Like, again, like, we have good damage here. This, this should do a lot. Wow, that actually hit an insane number of people. I'm not gonna lie, that hit so many. Oh my gosh! That almost killed Deng Fei instantly. Wow. That is something. Oh wait, this is fine. Guan Ping can't interfere. But I just can't win with Yu Jin is the problem. Hmm. Oh, I could rush attack. This would save me. Hold on, maybe maybe this isn't as hopeless as it looks. I don't know what to do with Leo Bei, though, if he keeps attacking me. But we could get a little cheeky uh, damage on him and get a war ability up. And I don't know about you, chat, but this looks like a nasty rush attack. That looks nasty. Attack! Let none escape! Oof. Right, chat? Oof. Oh, Straggler? Straggler OP? Thank you, OP Straggler. And that increased our war ability, which is good. Now Zhao Yun's gonna appear. We know that is gonna happen already. So all we need to do... Did that confuse us? 
Oh, confuse them. Okay, good. So we did a lot of damage to Liu Bei there. Um, Cell Ren will defeat Zhang Fei. Maybe this is going okay, actually, all things considered. I'm gonna get my spells back. I just don't want him to get Rally back if we can avoid it. Battle Cry's okay. If we do get in a multi-fight versus Guan Yu, I'm kind of okay with this. Then we just kill them. Yeah, this is fine. They're fighting see how you wanted the multiples. This is fine. Yujin still has a problem, though. We need to retreat Yujin eventually. We did get another ability back, so we'll wait a little bit. We just need to get a kill here. If Sao Sao gets freed up, we're also fine. So I think we gotta be more aggressive here. That looks like really that looks like a really nasty ice storm. So if we could free up Sao Sao chat, I think we're good. Like Zhao Yun's a problem, but he's gonna be fighting a character with duel. So I don't think that's as big of a problem as it would normally be. That's gonna be a nasty attack. Why did that do no damage to her? Excuse me. Why did that do like oh. She's got no troops, that's why. Okay, so she's just dead. Okay, so Guan Yu's gonna die, that's fine. I can't really interfere with this Al Yun fight that much. So I think what we do here... Is there anything I could do to bully them more? Not really. Okay, we are losing a character. No, no, we're not losing a character. Sorry, that's the other enemy. So Zhang Fei's almost dead. Okay, this is good. If we could just push Zhang Fei over the edge. I don't think he has a rally. Lulu is an archer that has volley. Zhang Fei has something that is not rally. Because I remember being annoyed that he didn't have it. It's just like a war ability. If he never uses his war ability, we're fine. The other enemies are trying to figure out how to reach us. Which is good, because we just got a kill. Okay, things are looking really good. Things are looking really good. Is now what we could do? No! How dare you do that? Now we can make them fight Guan Yu. Oh, we're going in, chat. This is the all-in strategy. Now they can fight Guan Yu. Guan Yu's already almost dead. Wow. So you just need to intercept Guan Ping and we're good. We can retreat Yu Jin at any moment. Because Mei's going to die, and that means the enemy can't reach us regardless. Speaking of which... Guan Yu and Jiang Fei have been defeated? Damn it! What do we do now? Ooh, they got demoralized, chat, because we beat them! Oh, that is sick. I forgot that actually worked like that. Oh, man. Wait a minute. This was the right strategy. I should have been more aggressive. Holy, they just got dumped on. Um, so we're just stalling with Leo Bay right now. So Sal Ren got a legitimate kill. Sal Sal will get a kill to himself. Dao Yun now can get dueled. This is fine. Anything else we could do to demoralize them before we do anything else? I have a rally. I could rally. Again, we're sharing experience with the mages here, so it's not a total waste to do this. Listen, man. Whatever the cost, attack! Unfortunately, can't level magic up, but we did get our war ability up on two different characters. So this is already going a way that I would accept it over the other one by, like, a lot. Um, do I charge them? What do I do here? I guess I try to use a spell, maybe? May's going to die. There's nothing she can do about it. That is that's so many people. Oh my gosh, we need to move slightly further forward. Oh no, chat. This is so many people. Look how many people are here. They're about to get dunked on. Ch chat, GG. Okay, I'm pretty sure he levels up magic here. Because this character I don't think has any iron wall or magic ability. They're about to take so much damage. So extremely effective meteor shower. Look how many targets it's already hit. And it's going to hit them on the sides like this. So it hit a majority of them, and the slash damage hits even more. Yeah, that was a really good meteor shower. 
So much so that it actually leveled his magic ability. Which is good, because that's what I wanted for this kind of fight. Now that they're demoralized, we just duel and punish them harder? Oh, duel's not back up. That's fine, though. I don't think we need it at this point. We're winning pretty hard. Um, Gauji's about to get Hail back. That could be fun. I won't level up his magic, but it'll keep them demoralized. Okay. <laughs> they weren't worth the trouble. I'm not ready to die. Not right here. So now Cao Cao is free to leave the base. And that means pretty much all of his abilities have probably recovered, since I haven't really been spamming them that much. So at this point, Cao Cao could potentially just finish off Leo Bay. I think we'll do. Cao Ren just needs some help with one thing a little bit, which we could do once Cao Cao interferes with Leo Bay. So this is just kind of like an even-ish battle. It's just meant to stall. See how you want about to completely wreck Zhao Yun, though. I'm just waiting for your magic ability to come back, so we're gonna go in. So keep in mind, we're probably gonna have Battle Cry, Rally, all of our spells back by the time we get into battle with Cao Cao again. But they're pretty split up. Let's get a little closer. They're getting absolutely crushed in morale right now. But what if we crush them more, chat? What if, what if more? So now we're taking full advantage of our spell usage. And I think after this chat, I'm feeling pretty confident we're going to use the save over the other one. So we won previously without losing any troops. But now we're going to get a complete annihilation. Yujin, unfortunately, will not get a lot of experience, but we have a lot of opportunities to get that character more experience in the future. I'm not as worried. So Zi Hao Yuan will be really good for pelting arrows as an assist for uh, Sal Ren. We'll try to do that. And then Yu Jin will be able to assist with arrows versus Sal Sal and finally get some experience, or not versus Sal Sal, versus Liu Bei. So they should just die at this point. I'm just gonna blow my abilities. There's no point to holding on to them because I don't intend on attacking with him directly after this. Uh, this is good enough, whatever. So as soon as see how Yuan is out of the fight, it's gonna let Sal Ren get another kill. And again, we're leveling up our mages. We did manage to get our magic ability up slightly higher. I don't expect this to do a lot of damage to them. It's mostly just to crush their morale and keep them confused. So potentially halving their troop strength and confusing them is basically GG. I think, I think we can agree, that's, that's pretty GG. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that he's an archer after he kills Zhao Yun, which we've been bullying him very hard, as Jack could see. So now it's just a matter of time. Zhao Yun, I don't think, has rally either. He has raid and something else, and even if he raids us, it doesn't matter. I don't intend on doing anything else, so goodbye, Zhao Yun. We gave even more experience to our mages, so they could potentially learn new spells, which I'm sure chat would agree is pretty important if we could get them blasting everything. Now we just need Cao Cao to deal with... <sighs> Yujin's almost dead. Oh, I think I got a retreat here. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, Cao Cao, you're just like slightly too slow. But we got to get Yujin out of there. Yujin is about to die. And obviously, losing Yujin would be really, really, really bad for us. Um, Cao Cao should intercept, though, before anything terrible happens. Do we at least have a battle cry we can use? Not really. I don't know what he's going to do here. If he attacks Sal Ren, this is actually a problem. I might just... I'm not sure what Leo Bay is doing. Oh, he's chasing me. This is fine. So we, we're going to retreat one more time, and I think we can steal more experience with this way. Well, thanks, Leo Bay. Because you know this means that I could just have two archer units pelting Guan Ping now. Like, I, I'm kind of okay with this. So we're going to share experience here right at the end. Move forward a little bit. Sal Sal now freeing up our other companion. We're going to pelt with arrows. We're going to get a little closer just to make sure that they shoot. You know, sometimes the game is dumb like that. And I guess we just full retreat here. I did get an ability back. So I could just battle cry him real quick. 
This will give Sao Sao an advantage, and this shouldn't kill Liu Bei either, and make sure we escape a bit easier. It's just kind of win-win for me, honestly. Please retreat from combat, though. Please retreat from combat, though. Please retreat. Please retreat from combat, though. Please. Please don't die. Please. No way. Are we really not going to retreat? Oh come on! Are you serious? They died right at the end. Oh. Oh, they were so close! All they had to do was retreat. That's so disappointing. Oh, chat, we were literally right there. Oh. That is so disappointing. We, we have to reset. I'm not accepting that. I'm so disappointed. They just didn't retreat. That's all we needed them to do. I thought they would be fine because they could just leave combat again, but they just got stuck for some reason. That is so sad. It's okay, we're gonna do the same strategy, but this time I'm going to move, uh... Sal Ren a bit further forward, I think was the problem. No. Not Sal Ren needs to move forward. See how Yuan needs to move forward. Sal Ren needs to be where they are. And we need Yujin more to the south. I think that's what we did wrong. So I want to do that again without losing a unit. So now we know if we focus Guan Yu Zhang Fei, they will go down very quickly. We're going to do one more attempt. And if this attempt fails, then we're, we're done regardless. But this does seem like the strategy oh, to get the full gear. So it looks like they give us just enough time to kill every general. We just got a little unlucky. If I had noticed their troop size a little earlier, I think I could have saved them. So just very minor adjustments and we'll win. We're just going to do the same thing we did last time. So we know Sao Sao can handle this. So we're going to move Sao Sao over. And we're going to have Yujin move more downwards than not. And we need see how you want to basically go forward. So we'll see how they deal with this combo. Yujin is already pretty far away. Let's move Yujin a bit more like this. See how Yuan will intercept the first generals. And we'll see how it goes from there. And I think we made them hold still a bit, so that way they weren't as far forward. Sal Ren can go more like this, maybe? Yujin can just go here. And I think we're fine. This is what we did last time. So we need Yujin to now come upwards a little more. And you know what? I'm kind of... Uh, no, no, no. We need them to come forward. So we, we can't move our position too much. Because we know that'll result in... Ooh, this time he's going, I think, towards the right target, which is good. If we move them too much, it means that the enemies will spawn on us and give us less time to fight them. Sal Ren, what the heck are you doing? Stop moving. So, Yujin, you need to now move forward. Okay. We're gonna shoot some arrows. Now we need Sal Ren to come, like, here-ish, and then I think we're fine. The same strategy as before, nothing's really changing. I'm gonna start with the rally. Whatever the cost, attack! So if we manage to demoralize them in the duel, I think that's when we hit them with the meteor shower. So we could maximize their damage. Because I'm assuming with lower morale, it means they also take more spell damage. Not something I bothered confirming, I just assumed it's true. We want to hold off a little bit. Okay, so now Sao Sao is almost in position. We make sure Sao Sao turns around this time. <laughs> just make sure we don't lose our storehouse. That'd be stupid. Uh, now we, I think, just battle cry them. No matter what, our abilities are a lot stronger here. How's our morale looking compared to theirs? Almost dual territory. We could go for a meteor shower here, I 
think, without it being too greedy. That's, that's a lot of people we can hit with this. I don't know if this will level up our magic or not, but I think we do need to do this. I could have waited for more arrows, potentially, to save the Meteor Shower, but that just means I can level up the Hail user. I'm okay with Meteor Shower is pretty easy to level compared to Hail. So this is an okay Meteor Shower. We hit some decent targets. Snipe a few on the edges here. This is the Reaper's power. Ooh, that last shot hit so many people. Yeah, that last shot was brutal. Oh, and then he leveled magic anyway. Okay, so there wasn't even a risk there. We're just gonna charge and see how you want a little bit. Make sure he's sufficiently demoralized. It's, whoa, 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 attack from our blind side. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you get, how did you end up in battle here? Excuse me, Sal Sal. Excuse me. You were so far from that bridge. How did that even happen? That is ridiculous. Chat, that is not fair and that is ridiculous. I should not have been sucked into combat. Remember we were talking before about the magnet hands? Like, how did I get in that battle of all things? Like, oh, okay game, right chat? Roll your eyes, like, okay. Now we just have Eugen assisting. We can have Eugen assist uh, this fight, it would be okay. See how Yuan could just bully this character out of existence and I think it would be okay. Anyway, back to dueling. If I die, it will be in a glorious duel. Show what you're made of! Well, then I can only hope that you're not too attached to that head of yours. Ha! Ah! Fortunately, this is a pretty short duel animation. I can't skip the duel animations if chat, if chat is curious. So, and we already know the result. Okay then, but I'm not done for yet. Did you expect me to really lose to the likes of you? That is pretty devastating to the morale. Okay, so we need Sal Sal to let her cross the bridge. Please cross the bridge, Sal Sal. I don't want you to stall her before she's in a place you can wail on her. So Yujin needs to just move a little bit, I think, and then we'll be fine. Uh, so hopefully this character will shoot arrows from here. We'll be fine, and we should get the assist. I'm hoping this counts as pelting for arrows. It looks like this should work. I don't know if I need a clear line of sight or not, to be honest. Um, in case I do, I'm going to move slightly further down, actually. Remove Sal Sal forward so he lets her through. One ping should be showing up any second now. Speaking of which. Okay, so she's now been given free reign to enter. If we duel one ping with our other character, this is also fine. So we'll move in a way that it's easy to intercept if she gets too far. So this is still fine. We're going to use Sal Ren's rush ability Kuzi to delete these enemies. If I remember correctly, this was just, like, so devastating on how many targets it hit. She's actually pretty good. I just wish she had more abilities. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Draggler? There's so many dead bodies. That easily half their army. Look at that chap. They're still dead. What's the straggler getting them? Nice. Holy! Oh my god! That did, that did like 80% of his troop size. Oh my gosh! That, that was the delete button. Never doubt the power of Huzi chat. She will absolutely delete them. 
How do we still not see the enemy? Oh, 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 oh you're going too far forward. Stop, 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 stop. Just shoot arrows, just shoot arrows. Stop, just shoot arrows. Be fine. Shoot arrows. If one ping's trying to move upwards, he's stupid. They're about to lose basically everybody. Okay, sell, sell. Engage. Sell, sell, please. At least this time he's moving, so I'm not as worried. Okay, so we did get into combat, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's just with one ping, so whatever. So we got a rush attack, which should do a lot of damage. We're actually gonna come forward and battle cry. This is still fine, so we're gonna kill Guan Yu potentially. We're gonna shout to weaken them a bit for the next attack. Actually, I'm too far forward, weirdly. Back up slightly. Oh, I bonked. No, I didn't want to bonk. There we go. Now, let's see how we do. This should be devastating to them. Yeah, that's a lot better. I can hit basically their whole army this way. So we want to burn our abilities like Battle Cry and Rush, just because obviously the morale swing is insane. But even if we then retreat them to act as an archer unit, it's just preferable. Now we can, I guess, just finish the job. They're... She's a little too centered. She needs to go to one side of them. It doesn't matter what side I go on. Please. Game, please. There we go. <laughs> don't do not do the wiggle. I need you to actually make progress. Yeah, so she went more up than I wanted her to, so we're going to make her pull left. I don't know if I'll get war ability, though, because there's not a lot of people in his troop. I mean, we'll try, but... Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. That was too far down. Let's... One you, I think, is rallying to try not to die. I mean, he needs to. How run more troops are approaching. That's fine. This should do a decent job of slowing them up. And it's going to kill a lot of other people, as you can see. Ooh, Straggler. Straggler's so crucial. Thank you, Straggler. Unfortunately, their troop numbers dip low enough. I don't know if this will give me war up. Let's see. Oh, it barely did. Nice. Okay, so I think I could just straight up bully them from existence then. Zhaoyun's going to show up. That's fine. We've almost killed Guan Yu and friends. Oh, he's getting hit by Leo Bay. Oh, that's kind of a problem. Um, That's actually a big problem. Hmm. That is a very big problem. So we have to bully them harder. Can I bully them harder is the question. I think we've got to hail them. We have to make sure Guan Yu is at a point where he's just going to straight up die. Our other general should be recovering his anti Zhao Yun abilities right now. So we still have some time before I need them. Zalran, I think, is tankier, so he'll last longer than uh, Yujin. If Yujin finishes his fight, he can help stall for Liu Bei and kill Zhang Fei. Okay, again, that's not going to do like an insane amount of damage. I just need to make sure they're confused and we push the advantage we have on them. I'm going to try to save up see how you want abilities, unless he's got Battle Cry, in which case I'm going to use it immediately. What's on cooldown? Battle Cry and Ghoul? That sucks. Oh well. We have other things to deal with him. One, you should just lose. Given enough time. So we're just going to push as much advantage as we can before we get ambushed here. So unfortunately, this is going to stall our fight versus uh, Guan Yu, but he should die soon. Uh, Sal Ren's in a bit of a tight spot, so we really need Yujin to clean up the kill here. So kind of an unfortunate ordering, because of Yujin moving forward, we don't have as much of an advantage as we would have had before. So we need Zhang Fei to die, and in order to do so, I think we have to kill Guan Ping here with Yujin. Sal Ren is being split up. Zhang Fei did something, which is not good for us. Let's check to see what the damage is with Salren. Salren might be in big trouble here. Salren's in big trouble. Ooh, we're gonna mash. Like, if we can just... If we can just kill Zhang Fei, we're fine. Like, his morale is going down really quickly. Once that happens, we're fine. 
Oh, May did something. I think she did a meteor shower on us. Okay. So now this will stop splitting our troops, so we'll last longer against Liu Bei now. No! How dare you do that? And once Guan Yu dies, this should basically be the nail in the coffin. Okay, there we go. So now it will last longer against Liu Bei, but I still have to mash like crazy. Oh, mother! I, I know, I know. Let's get your revenge quotes in. We're fine. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei have been defeated. Oh, Guan Yu died apparently Damn in between. It. What do we do now? So this will help us. So now Liu Bei does less damage to us. I still got a mash. Gotta recover from Confuse faster. I really need him to survive. So we're in a mash. Okay. So we're we're doing okay. Xiao Yun is now dealing with Mei. Or I just wish we were fighting Mei earlier. Because the problem is, like, we didn't get to use any of our abilities on Mei. That's why she's still alive. So let, let's let's fix that situation real quick. And we're gonna battle cry into a million spells and see how she likes it. And this should just kill her. You're going to fight me. Because unfortunately, we lost time because he intercepted her at the bridge for some reason, even though I told him not to do that. But this is fine. We can we can course correct. So let's give the experience over to Zhen Yu if we're able to. Or Himiko. Honestly, Himiko having it too is fine. Although, Ice Storm. I think I want to get Ice Storm in if I'm able to. It's like a pretty brutal one. If I move slightly further forward, it'll do better damage. Like if I come over here. Yeah, that's a better one. So let's finish up this fight. This is a character that needs to help out Sal Ren. Why does it say it only did like 30 damage? But then she lost 2k. Wait a minute, is Ice Storm bugged? It did 2k, but she only got credit for 5,000 or 50 kills. Oh, Ice Storm is bugged. Boo! It does damage, but she can't level up magic ability with it. Oh, that's a terrible way to learn it's bugged. I don't. Th I think that's the first time I've noticed that. Yeah, that should have been an easy magic up, and we got denied due to jank. Like that was actually just Kessa jank right there. Like we killed all those people. It just didn't count for reasons. Yeah, that sucks. Because I would have just used hail or literally anything else to get magic up. Yeah, that is that is pretty lame. I wonder how long it's been like that, and I've just never noticed the kill count break like that. Because we should have gotten magic up from that. That was over 2k by, like, a lot. Oh, well. Let's wrap the fight up. So I'm not going to get as much shared experience this time due to how I position, but we'll still take the win. I'm not going to reset her perfect share XP. I don't think that's worth it. As long as I get XP in general, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, so unfortunately. Okay. So we're in all all 1v1s, which is more doable. Town Run needs to leave soon. One ping is almost dead, so I can start assisting. I think if I battle cry, this will end the well no, there's not enough people to battle cry. One ping should just lose, because one ping fortunately does not have any abilities. So then Eugen will be able to intercept potentially. I think this is what we're gonna do. Salren needs to leave combat. We need to weaken Zhao Yun so we can have a chance here. We still have not unlocked dueling, which is unfortunate. But let's let's try to level up Meteor Shower while we're here. That's a lot of enemy. That is a that is a million enemy units on our side. What the heck? I mean, okay. All right, Chad. I mean, okay. If you just if you want me to do this, I'm gonna say no. Let's level up our magic score. <laughs> 
Keep in mind, I think his magic went up again. So it should do more damage. I don't think we have Super Meteor yet. Oh, we don't have Super Meteor yet, but we're getting closer. So again, another really effective Meteor Shower. We're just hitting so many people. And we're gonna hit a lot of people on the outskirts here. Yeah, you can see that just sniped their whole army. Yeah, that was good splash damage at the end. Didn't get magic up though, disappointing. Well, let's push our advantage. This looks brutal. I tried. Wait, did we get stuck? What happened there? Oh well. Hopefully that didn't mess up how many people we hit. Okay, doing okay here. We now have troop advantage. Good rally. Yeah, we should rally. Listen, man. Whatever the cost, attack! Any extra troops we can keep are important to us, and potentially resisting a comeback raid or something would be useful. We got one ability left. Speaking of which, get a good taste and hear how you are. I don't know why they're just standing there, but it makes it easier to find them. In fact, I'm just gonna circle around and hit them again. Oh, it's Xiao Yun's unit. They're just standing there watching. Alright, oh, we killed an okay amount of people. Now we definitely have troop advantage. We almost killed one ping, which is good. We're waiting on that. We are going to potentially split some experience with Ji Hao Yuan. If Cao Cao is not able to get the experience from Leo Bay, that's okay. Okay, we need to retreat. Nyah, 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 nyah. Losers. Ah, Bob. Now the fight is yours. So yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to split a lot of experience. We need to save Sal Ren. I'm trying to mash triangle to let me do this. Game, come on. <laughs> they weren't I, worth the trouble. I'm trying to save Cal Ren. I'm not ready to die. Please. Not right here. Game, please. please. I'm I'm begging you. I'm mashing triangle. Please stop cutscening me. Okay. So hopefully he can escape here. We need Yujin to come in immediately. I might have waited too long on Sal Ren. I didn't realize how low he was. Oh, I'm so worried because oh, Cao Cao is just so much further behind than he was before. It's very annoying. Um, I'm gonna really hope that this character can pull through. Um, I might have made a mistake again. We'll see. Well, my morale's not lose going down as quickly. Okay, I think we have a chance of escape here, unlike before. So Yujin will join the fight and it should stop us from hemorrhaging as much, but please begin the retreat animation. Thank you. Retreat. Okay. So Sal Ren is not going to get much experience. I mean, I guess he beat Zhuge. I guess, or not Zhuge. He beat Zhang Fei. Please intercept. Sal Sal, please also intercept, and then we could get bow experience. So we could split XP, I think, on that and be okay. Okay. So unfortunately, we got one less shared archer kill, but we're gonna have to live with it. I do not want to lose Cell Run. So what we could do... See how you want to turn around. That way he can enter... But don't you dare enter this battle. I swear if you enter this battle, I'm going to be so tilted. Cell Ren will get full experience. Then once we're ready, we'll let Yujin come forward. Or leave battle, I mean, and get some bonuses. Uh, let's go battle cry this, because there's no downside to this. We could charge with Dong Zhuang Feng, because I don't really care about Cao Cao's characters getting experience. These characters getting experience is kind of crucial, because I feel like they tend to turn the tide of battle if they get early experience. Because often they're by themselves, so getting Hu Zi stronger, getting Yu Jin stronger, we use them like all the time in the later missions. We're going to do this to even out the odds a little bit. Dong will be... Dong Zhuang Feng, I think we'll be able to get some rush skill in a moment. Hopefully get a big bonus. She got stuck. Please charge through them. 
you. Oh, speaking of rush, this is gonna be a nasty rush attack. Like, this is just actually nasty how much damage this is about to do. So again, see how Yuan will leech a little bit of experience for his archers. Cao Cao might get more experience if he's able to reach it in time, but Leo Bei is about to get dumpstered, so we'll see what happens. Oh, the straggler! The straggler hitting like 30 people. Oh, straggler army too. Another straggler! <laughs> just, okay, that's just abusive. <laughs> right, Chad? They're gonna lose so many troops. Holy. The Leo Bay in big trouble here. It needs to rally, or he might die before I get into proper position. How's Sal Ren doing? Not recovering any morale, I'm noticing. Okay, so see how you want is good. Just hoping Sal Sal reaches the battle in time? Might not be able to. They're losing morale at a pretty fast rate. She, you know, I'm okay with, as I said before. Sal Sal doesn't get the experience. It's like, I have a million different ways for him to get XP. He did get a kill already as well. It's not like we neglected him. So I'm hoping the enemy does something here, or they're just going to lose outright. Dare I go for maximum greed? Put Sal Ren back in here? I don't think I do. So unless they have Rally here, I think this is over. Um, I could try to not kill them here? I'm gonna try retreating, see if I can stop myself from getting the kill. We'll see. And again, if it's Southside that gets the experience, it's fine. If they don't get the experience, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Leo Bay might die before Cao Cao gets here. I think we're gonna split XP here, which is okay. I'm okay with doing this. All of our abilities came back up, so we'll just, I guess, jump scare Leo Bay and he'll die. Okay, that was fine. We'll take this win. The enemy general has been defeated. We won. He gave a little bit of split experience, so. Don't think we're done yet. Oh, you're done. We'll Don't worry Diao about Chan it. Back. You will not get Diao Chan back. <laughs> Skipping your dialogue. We've heard it enough times today. Yeah, that that went much better. I mean, the only the only mistake I would say that time through was Eugen was Take slightly too far forward, but Victory. everything else went according to plan. I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. Okay, let's see comparatively how much our things go up. So the force size didn't change much. I think we got more supplies this time. Oh, we got three last time. We got four this time. Military skills went up by one additional point. I think it was 25 last time. Got red lightfoot, Kabu cavalry. Well, so that didn't really change. My lord, this is Levion and Yuiji, sent to rid us of bandits some time ago. They've lost all their warriors and are now returning in shame to beg your pardon. The two of us were overpowered and taken prisoner, but somehow we managed to escape. Lord, we will gladly go to the front lines in the next battle. Okay, so this time I think we'll save over this one. There's just overall a better battle. We got more experience. So even though, uh, see how you wanted ended up getting more kills than before, Sal Ren did get a kill. He, he did defeat Zhang Fei. We did get some nice little arrow experience. I'm not sure if they split experience with Cao Cao at the end or if they just gave it all to Cao Cao. Either way, we gave experience to critical characters. So we'll just resave over this. But I think, chat, I don't have enough time for another stage. Unfortunately, that middle retry was a big troll, or else we would have done another stage. Let's chat. 
So I think we got through what I'm going to consider one of the harder Sao Sao battles to not die and also get all the kills. So this is good. That's one hard battle out of the way. And again, we've technically won all of them. It's just we want to win in style. So we did eventually win with style. And we're going to hopefully do that going forward. So we'll see where things go. It's good to know where our archers are. And we're going to try to take advantage of them in the future. But eh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I I'm pretty happy that we did get some early magic ability ups. And basically all of our characters got war up. As that lets us hold out longer for ability recharges. So overall, this is just going to make the future stages so much easier, getting those early bonuses. But anyway, we're, I'm going to try to make a mental note not to use Ice Storm, because we can't get magic up, which is incredibly lame. Uh, but it is what it is. So anyway, chat, I do have to go for now, but we're going to say goodbye to YouTube once more. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, hope you enjoyed the experimentation of strategies. I have a feeling it'll be more one-shots going forward. But we'll see how it goes. But in any case, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time, YouTube.